Alrighty, so what's up everybody? I'm gonna be answering the question that I've been getting a lot on stream lately, and that is, how do I get this super cool custom menu to pop up every time I hit pause on Geometry Dash? Now this menu has a bunch of things. It's got like your quests, you've got your menu sliders, you've got a bunch of settings. You can bring up all the custom settings while you're in the level. It's super duper cool. And in fact, it's really easy to install. It takes about five minutes to install. You're gonna need about three or four uh, things to download. And we're gonna go through everything step by step here um, to help you out. Oh yeah, and big shout out to Simba. He's just he's just chilling down here. He's, he's sleeping, man, he's sleeping. Alrighty, so let's head into this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure you have Mega Hack 7 or any kind of mod loader. If you've got a mod loader or any kind of like extension loader, that's that's good, you're set. Yeah, so that's the main thing you're gonna need. There's no getting around that. You're gonna need one of these things. Next thing that we're gonna need is a thing called Minhook. Now Minhook is a uh, extension to Mega Hack or the mod loaders. It basically allows you to run the mods super easy. So it should be the second link in the description. I'll, I'll labor it, Minhook, M-I-N-H-O-O-K. Click on that one and we're gonna open that one up here click on it it should just straight away download you're gonna go wherever you want i'm just gonna be installing straight to my desktop uh we're gonna hit save installed done that's super easy you've got minhook that's what you want Alrighty. so now that you have minhook already downloaded onto your computer we're gonna have to put that in the right file sounds complicated but it's actually really easy to do we're just gonna have to find out where our geometry dash is actually installed because it's gonna have to go in the same folder as that one so to do that all you're gonna want to do is open steam or whatever you have geometry dash installed on head over to the top tab called library go down to geometry dash right click on that one and then click properties. Now it's gonna open this menu. Um, you're gonna go down to local files and then just head into browse right there. That's gonna open up a new window where all your files are installed. And as you can see, just down here, we've got geometry-exe in there. Now, all we're gonna do is we'll just minimize all of our tabs. Um, we'll close that one there and our Google for now. And we're gonna install Minhook into that one. So you're just gonna drag and drop. I'm not gonna do it because I do already have Minhook installed, but it is simple as that. Just grab this file and copy it into Geometry Dash. All right, so now that you've put your Minhook into the Geometry Dash file, all you're gonna wanna do is just open up GD like you normally do. Now, when you open up GD, you might get a little bit of lag, might take a little bit longer to load in, but as long as you've just dropped it into that folder, should load no problems just like this. So now once you've done that, all you wanna do is just put out your trash and that is all, all done, all done. All right, so now that you have Minhook installed and you've loaded up Geometry Dash, make sure you've quit out of Geometry Dash. You wanna make sure you've done that first. Uh, we're gonna be downloading the actual mod itself. So all you're gonna do, head to the third link in the description. I'll label it mod, and that's gonna open up this web page here. So this is gonna look a bit confusing, but it's fine. Stick with me, it's really easy. You're gonna be basically downloading two files from here. Um, the first one, oh, I think it's cut off by my webcam, but it's called betterpause.dll. And you also want to download the resource.zip. Uh, so we're just going to download that one here. Uh, I'm just going to save it to my desktop, save it somewhere where you can find it really easy. Uh, and then you're also going to want to download the zip file. Now the zip file will automatically download into your downloads. Don't worry about that. We're going to we're going to go to that one in a second. Alrighty. So now that you've got the mod uh, and the resources downloaded, the better pause menu is the one that we're going to be starting off with first. So to install this one, it's a little complicated, but we're going to go step by step again. We're going to be opening Geometry Dash. So let's just open that one real quick. Um, the reason why we closed it before is just to allow a clean install for Minhook. Once we open Geometry Dash, press tab or whatever button it is to bring up your mod loader. Uh, and head down to just on this side over here where my mouse is to extensions. Now we're going to go to the extensions folder. So this one right here, going to click on that one there. All right. So once you've clicked that button, it's going to open up this window here called the extensions. Now I'll minimize that one so it doesn't get too confusing. All of your mods is where every extension goes. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be dragging um, this guy. Oh, sorry. We're going to be dragging this guy over here, this uh, better pause dot dll one here now if yours doesn't say like one here totally fine i've just got multiple copies installed now click back onto geometry trash and all you're gonna do is hit quit once you quit the game that's fine just let let load it might take a little while to like to load and close out because you've just installed the mods so just give it a few seconds it will close all right so now that we have the mod installed itself do not open geometry trash <laughs> if you open geometry trash it will crash it will lag don't do it we're going to be installing the resources now all you're going to do is go to wherever you downloaded your resources to that resource file that we downloaded before so the second file and we're going to open up the resources now this is where you will need an extraction tool like winra or winzip uh, or anything that can extract files you're just going to want to open that one you can just extract the file i just open it up whatever's easier for you uh, you should be able to just double click on it and open it up 
Now just head over to resources here um, and open up the resources file. Sorry, I'll move that over for you guys a bit. So we're just gonna head into resources and then we've got these files here. Now, all we're gonna do is head back to where our geometrydash.exe file is. So where we installed minhook into. Um, if you don't remember how to do that, it's in your Steam library, right click on geometrydash, local files, it's in there. Now, instead of just dragging and dropping everything in here, we're gonna head up to this thing called resources right here. We're gonna just double click on that guy and then move him over to the side. And then we're gonna copy everything that says B E R I off all of those files, just not the desktop. Don't download this desktop one. All you're gonna do is just highlight all of these guys and then just drag them, drop them into that folder there and see how they've all just installed into there. That's all you're gonna do. Simple as that. You can now close out of that one there, close out of that one there, close out of that one there, close all of those windows. Now, the next thing we're gonna be doing is opening Geometry Dash. Um, this might take a few seconds to load. Now we're gonna head into your favorite level or whatever level you wanna do. My level is gonna be Stereo Madness and you're just gonna hit pause, just like that should open up this pause menu. Now, make sure you install the resources because if you don't install the resource file, it, whenever you hit escape, it will just crash your game. Now, a couple things I will note, if it is crashing, if it's lagging, if it's not opening up the um, the, the better menus to go to the normal menu, you wanna hit tab, head over to the extensions folder again, and just make sure that this one uh, here, where is it? I can find it, I'm a little slow, there here. <laughs> better pause menu, this one here. All we want to make sure is that that's highlighted the color of your mega hack. So make sure it's not like whited out, make sure it's like highlighted a color um, and that's loaded. And to make, if it, if it is whited out and not highlighted, just click on it once, reload your game, bring it back up, should be all good. Now you can also do another fix, which is called refresh textures. This one up here where my mouse is, just click that button, and just reload all of your textures and stuff and should be able to bring up the um the textures that you've installed into the resource uh, folder or file now if you're still having issues with the um the mod loading uh feel free to leave a comment below i'll try to answer as many as i can it should be really simple there isn't much that can go wrong with this one it's very simple install um you can also join my discord server or the gd modding discord server they're really 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 helpful i'll link both of those in the description below um but yeah if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe really appreciates it helps out uh, a lot i know i haven't been uploading a lot on the channel so i'll hopefully get back into some uploading soon um but everyone's been asking me this uh question a lot so i thought i would come on just explain it for you guys um but it should be as simple as that and hopefully uh, if you head over to the gd modding discord server as well they have bunch of mods like this a bunch of extensions uh that are literally just the same as installing this one so uh, head over there i i cannot recommend them uh, enough they have so many cool mods like just an insane amount anything you see me do on stream i basically get from that server um but anyway guys i'll see you later and uh yeah thanks for watching